for everyone. As we all know, very recently, the term NAFLD, that is non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases, is renamed as MASELD, that is metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease. So what is in name? Why did we require for the change in name from NAFLD to MASELD? What was wrong with word NAFLD? So before uh, I get into all those questions, let's discuss first what is NAFLD? So, NAFLD, as you can see here, this is normal healthy liver and this is steatotic liver disease or fatty liver disease, SLD. Means when more than 5% of liver cells displays steatosis or macrovesicular fat deposition, plus you rule out the presence of significant alcohol consumption, plus you also rule out the presence of any other chronic liver disorder, then you would say that condition is non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases, right? So, what was wrong with the term NAFLD? Firstly, the words fatty and non-alcoholic are considered as stigmatizing. Number two, the diagnosis of NAFLD was a diagnosis of exclusion, negative diagnosis, means you need to rule out alcohol, you need to rule out other liver disease, and then you would say the person is suffering from NAFLD, so it's a negative diagnosis. Thirdly, the word non-alcoholic is not capturing the exact underlying cause of the disease. It looks like that somebody is suffering from NAFLD because he or she is not consuming alcohol, so that's a wrong perception. And lastly, NAFLD is non-inclusive of people with the risk factor of NAFLD such as type 2 diabetes and they are also consuming excessive alcohol. So, these are the four major limitations which we all realized and that's where we required the change in name. So, what happened as a result? A global steering committee comprising of 36 experts from various societies including ASLD, EASL, APASL was formed to undertake uh, a global consensus uh, through Delphi methodology. Then they had uh, a panel of uh, 236 experts from 56 countries inclusive of uh, various speciality like hepatology, gastroenterology, endocrinology, cardiology, people from public sectors and obesity experts. They all participated in this uh, Delphi consensus statement uh, procedure. So, what were the outcome of this Delphi consensus? A majority, that is 74% of the panelists, they felt that name Neffeld and Nash, they are sufficiently flawed to consider a name change. Second, 75% of participants, they choose Messeld as the replacement term for Neffeld and 88% respondent do choose word MASH, that is metabolic dysfunction associated steatohepatitis as the replacement term for NASH. This consensus document paper, it gives us an overarching umbrella term that is steatotic liver disease, which encompasses uh, a spectrum of steatotic liver disease. And the first category under this overarching term is MASELD, that is metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease. Now, what does it mean? That means the patient having steatotic liver disease on imaging, maybe like ultrasonography or MR elastography or transient elastography or on biopsy, plus 
patient has no history of significant alcohol consumption plus patient is having at least one out of these five cardiometabolic risk factors right and those are overweight or obesity that is bmi more than 23 for asian people or high blood glucose that is fasting blood sugar more than 100 or postprandial blood sugar more than 140 HbA1c more than 5.7 or any person who is already taking anti-diabetic medication. Third is uh, high blood pressure that is more than 130 systolic blood pressure and more than 85 diastolic. Fourth risk factor is high triglyceride of more than uh, 150 milligram per deciliter and the fifth risk factor is low HDL cholesterol that is less than 40 for male and less than 50 for female so any person having sld plus at least one out of this five risk factor cardiometabolic risk factor plus no excessive alcohol consumption that person would fall into the category meseld right the next category under sld is meseld with increased alcohol intake that category is called met ALD. These are the patients who are having steatotic liver disease plus at least one out of these five cardiometabolic risk factor plus excessive alcohol intake that is ranging between 20 gram to 50 gram daily for female and ranging between 30 to 60 gram per day for male. So that is what a new category created by this consensus document that is MAT ALD. Next category is defined as alcohol associated steatotic liver disease that is ALD and this is the category wherein the patient is having history of alcohol consumption more than 50 gram per day for female and more than 60 gram per day for male. So that is what ALD category. Then there is a category wherein the patient of steatotic liver disease they have a specific etiology like the patient having history of drug uh, administration may like the category like uh, drug induced liver in, uh, injury DILI, or maybe the patient is having monogenic liver disease. So those kind of patient they will fall into the specific etiology SLD category. Then there will be a patient of SLD, right? They have no any known etiology for steatotic liver disease. Patient is not having any of the cardiometabolic risk factor. Patient is not having any alcohol consumption history, no any other uh, disorder those patients will fall into the category cryptogenic steatotic liver disease. So once again, how should we diagnose meseld? Means confirm the presence of hepatic steatosis on imaging like ultrasonography or MR elastography or transient elastography or maybe on biopsy. Confirm the presence of at least one out of five cardiometabolic risk factor. Rule out the presence of other causes like excessive alcohol consumption or other, uh, uh, other liver disorder. Then you would say that patient is suffering from MACELD, metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease. So now let me present you a, a diagnostic algorithm given by this uh, Delphi consensus uh, statement paper. So first we need to confirm the steatotic liver disease on imaging or on biopsy. Then look for the cardiometabolic risk factor. If at least one risk factor is present, then look for any other cause of steatosis. If there are no any other causes of steatosis, then you would label that patient as Masseled patient, and if there are other causes of steatosis present, like excessive alcohol consumption, then you would say patient is having MET ALD, 
or very excessive alcohol consumption history, then patient is suffering from ALD, right? Now, in case the patient of SLD having no cardiometabolic criteria, no cardiometabolic risk factor, then look for the presence of other causes. If there are other causes, then you would say accordingly, the patient might be suffering from drug-induced liver, uh, liver injury or maybe monogenic liver disease. And if, in case the patient is having no any other cause, no known etiology for that steatotic liver disease, then you would say the patient is suffering from cryptogenic steatotic liver disease. So friends, this is what about the new nomenclature uh, in the field of steatotic liver disease. Now, we do not use the word nephed anymore. Now it is replaced by meseled. We do not use NASH word. Now we use MASH. And we have got a one more category that is MAT LD, a patient with meseled having excessive alcohol. So that is what the new category which we have got now. Thank you very much.